I recently purchased this BLMA Models Modern Cantilever. It's a right hand side signal bridge. There's the model number. And here's what it looks like out of the package. And of course what I discovered when I pulled it out of the package is uh, the wires aren't labeled. So you have to figure out which wire corresponds to which head and light. And I'm going to go through that with you in this uh, video tutorial, try to help someone out there that may be struggling with one that they have or considering to purchase this and have no idea about it as I did. I really had no idea till I purchased it. But this is a, a common, common anode uh, positive wi uh, wire. And I'll show you the wires. They're extremely, those extremely thin coated wires. I don't know if you, how well you could see it. And there's four wires there all together. This one here, the single one here, is the red. It's the only one that's marked as far as color wise. This is red and it is your common anode power wire for one of these heads. And then there's three other wires here that correspond to the green, yellow, and red LED lights in each head. And they come out of here on the bottom. And again, they're not labeled. I went ahead and went through the process of labeling them all, and this is what I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, the way I'm going to connect this is using Logic Rail Technologies Block Animator. This is BA-1-IR model. And I'm also going to use the Logic Rail Technologies 12 volt DC power source regulator to connect to just an old DC transformer that I had laying around. And I do highly suggest that you get this uh, power source regulator if you're going to use a transformer like that just to uh, assure yourself that you're not going to blow these lights. I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick how I connected it from the regulator to the board and then we're going to test the lights and show you how I figured out how to determine which light um, will light up on corresponding the wires. Of course I did get a lot of help from Chuck over at Logic Rail Technologies and I thank him profusely for his help. So the regulator, if you do get one of these, is real straightforward. It's just uh, plugs in positive negative to your AC in area. And then you have a 12 volt positive and a ground side on each block terminal there. And what you're going to want to do is connect a positive, the 12 volt side, over to where it says DC on your terminal for the block animator. And your negative is just going to connect obviously to where it says ground on your block animator. And then what you're going to want to do is get a single wire plug that into your 5 volt terminal on your block animator. And then you're going to connect one of the resistors that comes with it to the ground of your block animator and that is going to help you to de determine which light corresponds for each wire. Bear with me and I'm going to go ahead and connect it all and then I'll show you how it works. So I'm going to take this red wire and I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the 5 volt. Bring the camera over here a little bit. And I'm going to connect the red wire to the 5 volt side 
of the block animator. Carefully connect these two together. I'm just doing this for the purpose of this video. And just carefully connect those two together. Try to remember if you do it this way as a test, just to remember which way you twisted that wire on. You don't want to break it. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in. And you're going to see this little red light come on on the voltage regulator. All right. And so that'll let you know that you have power to your voltage regulator, which is bringing power to your block animator. So now what I'm going to do is carefully take each one of these wires and I'm going to touch them onto the resistor. And you have to have the resistor plugged in to the ground or else you'll blow that LED bulb. So I'm going to go ahead and put the camera on the light so that you can see each one come on. And we're going to be seeing this top left head come on. I'm going to do the red first and you'll see the red come on. You can see the red there. Now I'll do the yellow. You can see the yellow come on. And now I'll do the green. And so that's how I determined which wire corresponded to which light on this head. Now there's four wires all together. There's to each head, but in reality it's times four. That's 16 wires that you have to test. And that's something that obviously they don't tell you on the package or even on their website. So I just wanted to make this quick video in hopes that uh, it would help someone out there. Again, I want to really uh, give a shout out to Chuck at Logic Rail Technologies for helping me to figure out how to do that. Take care, everyone.